now we have the main character appearing. We're going to work on the contrast. How to create the inside of the owl and the outside. How to make this owl pop. So I'm using blue. fast trying to leave a little bit of this uh, background that was created before and try to make the area close to the owl darker than the rest even get over over the body of the owl to try to create the shape that I want a better shape that's the beauty of uh, acrylic you can paint on top of it and change things when you don't like them Uh, I like when it's uh, glittery so I'm gonna use this glittery paint because I've got the idea of transforming this blue around into a um, night sky a summer night sky at least here in Europe uh, I'm using it everywhere I'm applying contrast so the light colors need to become lighter and right now it's uh, the white of the feathers of the face and the body and redesigning the beak trying to be sure that we see properly the fingers in between two wings on the body of the owl with the white to be sure to be able to really well see the contrast and somehow a little bit of volume even. is definitely going to be a white owl. With strange eyes. So I'm trying to do a bit of feathers on top of the head and on the side of the body. Playing between the white texture and the blue texture of the sky. So I'm using the brush create this structure. Putting a little bit of uh, light using some uh, glittering green on the body. And now back on the feathers, putting a bit of light using some uh, glittering turquoise 
if you don't have those fancy colors just uh, dilute a bit of your blue with some white and a bit of your green with some white and apply even the colors you want those are the ones that were talking to me the colors i needed to fill up my inner space and gain energy and feel joyful and peaceful but use the colors you want Now we've done the lighter colors light. I'm using dark black to get the darker colors dark. So using some in between the sky and the head. It's gonna help as well to play on the feathers of the head of the top. And it's as well going to um, take a, a deeper perspective on the sky like if it was going far beyond the owl I'm going all over her body using the black do not be frightened of contrast do not be frightened of black it's a nice useful color in between the fingers in between the feathers underneath the arm above the arm is creating a bit of contrast between the wings and the body like if there was a bit of shadow and as well around the eyes using a dry brush and putting the black paint everywhere Don't forget to breathe in and out three times because obviously the more we go, the more we are frightened of making a mistake and changing the aspect of it and losing it. So now I'm using the white again because I want to create a nice sky. A nice sky with stars in it. So, we see them very well on the video, I'm quite surprised, but I'm just dotting the sky very irregularly, trying to do like in the star constellation where they often go with other stars to draw a bear or to draw a bottle or whatever. So. Either invent something or just um, reproduce something you like. Recreate Cyrus or recreate uh, the dark constellation. Make something pleasant, something you like. Something you will be pleased to look at. Take your time. Video is going fast, but you have all your time. <laughs> and enjoy, you see? I've got a smile on my face, I'm happy. Hope you get that much happiness painting. Now I'm trying to do the eyes. Again, in the dark like if I was doing the pupil inside the eye and trying a way to put some light is as well because the light is always uh, getting reflected in the focus in the pupilla so I'm using the dark the surrounding of the eyes to make it again pop a bit. There is no rule if you have, want to have eyes of the same shape, do. If you want to have very uh, realistic eyes, check a picture of an owl and just uh, copy what you see. That's 
not really much my process. I'm not that much realistic in my projects. So now I'm reapplying some colors, adding a bit of uh, pink and fluorescent, white and blue to make them pop a bit more and to make the aspect of the future. Again, no right and wrong. Just try, have fun, it doesn't matter. If you don't like it, you let it dry and you play again. This guy is really making me uh, laugh. I really like this little owl. I like the idea of uh, painting and uh, perfecting what is there. Here I'm adding little dots in the eyes to reflect more light. Still playing here and there. golden green. A bit like if I was using tattoos. You can use whatever you feel like, wherever you feel like. Obviously this is compulsory just because um, I like the way it looks. I will put some special some energy to it. But obviously the stencils are not always um, easy to use and I can see some places where the green is too messy so I'm going back with um, some white try to correct a little bit the marks that were made by the stencil. And I'm gonna do that on the face. And I'm gonna do that on the body as well. I want it to be a bit more specific, like if it was a piece of jewelry. Obviously, if your stencil was great from the beginning, you don't need that step unless you want to add some colors, some more details though. On the hour. It's quite fun because we can see that with the white, that contrasts a lot more and it's uh, so much more powerful and lovely and pretty. So you see, everyone does mistakes, but it doesn't matter because we learn from, from it. And now I'm drawing a butterfly. I wanted a little butterfly there. I love butterflies. So now, are the little uh, extra colors I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some on the butterfly and to have a balance in the picture, in the canvas. I'm gonna apply some everywhere. So I'm playing with water again. water when there is too much. Just remember to play because I put some yellow on the butterfly. I need to put some yellow on the wings and in different other areas to create balance. you can use uh, 
la vitalité. In the bottle. If you use ink, be, be cautious because obviously it runs very freely everywhere, so you're gonna have to wait quite a while for it to dry. Because these are the last moments, just uh, Playing with little details of this paint on the feathers, on the body, adding a, a little extra on the butterfly too. You can spend so much time there. Don't forget to take three deep breaths in to carry on the last. Enjoying the process. Mm, love is sparkling on the canvas and in your music. Hope you enjoyed doing these hours and remember whatever happened everything is going to be all right and now the final pictures of the whole project can't wait to see you please post them hashtag them them on Facebook, Instagram, and tag me. <laughs>